Are you learning English but find it difficult to improve your grammar? Well, when we hear grammar, we always think of verb tenses, sentence structures, word order. But the thing is, we don't need to memorize them. Hi! English Era here and I hope your day is going swimmingly. I know you guys want to improve your English grammar. And we are always taught grammar in school to know the structures, to pass the exams. But the thing is, do we really know when to use them in real life? Well, watch this video until the end and let's look at some ways on how to improve English grammar. Well, to be honest, you don't actually need to learn English grammar by heart. Although grammar is an essential part of language learning, you don't need to learn it by heart. You don't need to learn it structure by structure. Because what happens, when you're in a conversation, you would always think of grammar structure rather than making a meaningful idea. So what should you do instead? Learn phrases and use them in context. For example, if you want to express regret, one grammar phrase could be should have. So you would say, I should have done it before. I should have studied for the exam. I should have listened to my parents. In this way, you're learning how to use the grammar meaningfully. You're learning how to use the grammar in context rather than learning the structure itself. You're not learning it like subject plus should have plus past participle. You're learning how to use it in context which makes it more meaningful and more useful. Another example is when you're talking about experiences of going somewhere. You may want to use the grammar phrase have been to. So you would say, I've been to Thailand twice. I've been to that sushi restaurant. I've been to a capsule hotel. So you're talking about your experiences of going somewhere without relying on a grammar structure, subject plus have been to plus so on and so forth. So learn grammar meaningfully. Learn grammar phrases and use them in context. Use them in conversation or even in journal writing. Another thing that you can do is to stop translating in your head. Challenge yourself. Stop translating in your head. Stop doing that. This is another reason why your English is not improving, why your grammar is not improving. It's because you translate things from your mother tongue to English. Let's face it, the grammar pattern in your native language may not be always the same with the grammar pattern in English. So when you translate in your head, you would end up producing inaccurate grammar patterns in English. So how could you stop translating in your head? Include English in your daily habit. You're walking outside, you're jogging, you're working out. Bring your phone, listen to English podcasts, listen to English songs. In this way, you're getting used to the sound of English and later on, it will become more natural than you. I have a student who actually improved her grammar by just listening to music. And she gave me an example of this song called Single Ladies by Beyonce. And there's this line there that says, if you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. So she played with that line and changed some words which actually has the same grammar pattern. It's like, if you like that dress, you should have bought it. If you like that pizza, then you should have eaten it. If you like that book, then you should have read it. If you liked him, you should have told him. So as you can see, the grammar pattern, the sentence pattern is the same. It's just that you're just trying to make it more meaningful and more useful to your life. You can also do this when you hear a line from a TV series, from a movie. Play with the words there, change some words, and make the sentences more useful and more meaningful to you. Including English in your daily habit is a game changer. Make English your world because once you do that, you don't need to translate things in your head. English becomes more natural in you when you are more exposed to the language. And that leads to our next tip. Surround yourself with anything English. Any English content, as long as you're connected to English. What do I mean by this? So you're listening to music, listen to English. You have a Netflix subscription, watch TV series or movies in Netflix. You have an opportunity to buy books, 
buy books in English and read in English. In this way, you connect yourself to the language. I mean generally, right? When you are connected to the language, when you start connecting yourself in English, English becomes more natural in you. And that's the reason why you don't need to worry about learning English grammar or so, structure by structure. It's because you're so exposed to English that it becomes natural in you. So let's say if you hear a phrase in English, remember that phrase, play with the words in it, make it more meaningful to you. Or when you read a book, you saw a good sentence, a good line in that book, play with the words in there and try to make it more meaningful to you. You don't need to feel like a robot processing grammar structures in your head and produce it. Rather, when you immerse yourself in English, grammar, even pronunciation and vocabulary become natural in you because you're getting used to the sound of the language and you start to think in English more effortlessly rather than thinking of what grammar to use. So just a recap, here are the things that you can do to improve your English grammar. Don't learn English grammar by heart. Instead, learn phrases and use them meaningfully. Another thing that you can do is to stop translating in your head. When you translate in your head, you will tend to commit a lot of grammar mistakes. So stop translating in your head. And another thing that you can do is to surround yourself with anything English. In this way, English becomes more natural in you. That's it for today's video. If you guys know some more tips on how to improve our English grammar, just share that with us in the comments. I'd love to see them. And if you want some more English tips, watch this video right here. See you soon on my next video.